Hey guys, it's Yuta. So, if you watched my video where Japanese people talk about Western people wearing kimono, you will know that Japanese people are generally cool with other people enjoying traditional Japanese clothes. So, when Japanese people from Japan are angry with Kim Kardashian using the word kimono, there must be something very, very wrong. She just launched a new shapewear brand and called it Kimono Intimates. So she's basically calling her arbitrary garment kimono and she's even trying to trademark her kimono logo. And kimono of course is a type of Japanese clothes that has existed for centuries so it's part of our Japanese culture. And Japanese people are generally happy with other people appreciating and enjoying their traditional clothes. But claiming ownership of the word is a totally different question. So. Kim Kardashian isn't that popular in Japan, so people usually don't pay too much attention to her. But those who learned about her brand on Twitter were naturally infuriated. I really want her to stop. I'd be happy with foreigners who like kimono and make their own versions. I'd be okay even if their versions don't look Japanese. But this kimono thing is crossing the line. I'm crying. I'm troubled and very sad. Not only isn't she changing the name, she doesn't even acknowledge it even though a lot of people are saying change the name in the comment section. I won't forgive her if she just keeps ignoring. And someone created a hashtag Kim oh no to protest. I made this hashtag Kim oh no. Let's post images of real kimono on Twitter land. With that hashtag, Japanese people started tweeting with a photo wearing actual kimono. Don't steal our culture. Please don't steal our kimono culture. Kimono is part of Japanese culture. Don't monopolize the culture. The first image that shows up when you search for kimono on Instagram is already this. I don't dislike Kim Kardashian and I think her underwear is beautiful. But I feel nothing but anger by her attitude that it's okay to stamp on other countries' culture to promote her own business. Even if Ariana Grande gets a barbecue tattoo, Western people wear kimono in front of La Japonaise, or they call a gown kimono. I just think, oh, they just like Japanese culture, it's cute. But Kim Kardashian, you are not acceptable. You don't have any respect towards kimono. I don't think it's cultural appropriation when foreigners have fun wearing kimono. But I don't want her to trademark something that is completely different from kimono. But of course, some people have different opinions, so let me share some of them. The Kardashian sisters are made for profiting from controversy. It doesn't hurt them at all. Stop saying things that Western people say. We are supposed to be more tolerant than them. You can just get over it by saying, that's weird. But to be honest, Japanese people's reactions are so overwhelmingly negative that it's pretty hard to find somebody who actually defends her. Kim Kardashian faced similar controversy when she trademarked her brand, so she already knew what kimono is. She's just ignoring it. If anything, this controversy would work in her favor because she gets more publicity. So it looks like she's exploiting Japanese people's anger for her self-interest. At the same time, Kim Kardashian is a social media monster that people have created. She wouldn't have been famous if people didn't make her so. She's a reflection of at least a portion of people in this world today. But I also know that not everybody is like her who abuses other cultures to get attention. If she has to abuse Japanese culture to get attention, I choose to get attention by promoting understanding by explaining Japanese culture from Japanese perspectives on my channel. And I know many of you guys are genuinely interested in Japanese culture and want to learn more about it. And do you know one of the best ways to learn about Japanese culture? Learning Japanese. So if you want to learn Japanese with me, I can send you some free Japanese lessons by email. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Utah. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.